I did it for the lols. Sorry guys. It was just for the lols. All this time. The ha-has and the hee-hees. So this is Lols Incorporated. Um, it's a zany WarioWare game. We see games that sort of spin-offs that have come about after the WarioWare series either released a new game or ever since it came out there's been like a few spin-offs kind of like Smash Brothers every once in a while you see a new Smash Brothers like or as people like to call it 2D platformer um, fighter um, but this is like sort of MS Paint graphics cute graphics and cartoony graphics the music in the game is equally zany but I feel like it's not the graphics and the sound effects and music they're not quite as zany as WarioWare so I sort of like miss WarioWare more after playing this um, but the game playtime is probably around five or six hours if you struggle with any of the mini games some threw me a loop I started messing up I have to admit one guy beat this in less than 30 minutes um, there's only 36 mini games and just like where you where you may not understand what the game expects you to do or how to do it but once you figure it out like it's super easy just like where you where um, so the first, uh, yeah, like, you may not understand that the game wants you to hold on to five eggs. And, like, I had pretty much had the five eggs in one mini game, and the eggs were still moving, so that's why the, the match or that mini game didn't end. So then I knew, okay, that's why the mini game didn't end. Um, so, yeah, like, the game may ask you to hold on to five eggs, juggle a toy, uh, use your Batarang device to climb across a building. Um, as I said, there's 36 games in total. You finish the first nine in like five minutes, then the ninth one is a boss, and there are three bosses apparently. I got to the end of the first mini game world, and then that was enough for me. Um, it's a fun little game for like six bucks. There's precision platforming and um, point and click puzzle physics. Um, it just doesn't equal anything except for like light entertainment for that six bucks. It's not on the same level as WarioWare. It's sort of, I wouldn't say it's like sub, subpar WarioWare. It's just WarioWare where they have such great mini games that like this game unfortunately doesn't quite like, the mini games aren't as amazing. And since this is a long time after WarioWare first came out, we've sort of seen these games before. So it's not as like, impressive because we've played a lot of these games before um, but uh, there are many way where clones on Steam six bucks is pretty fair uh, and I'd say like it plays where like where you wear but doesn't really have like the Nintendo seal quality of where uh, like the where you wear Nintendo series it doesn't have like the same Nintendo intensity unfortunately so it plays like it but it's not quite as satisfying I guess as it I'd say if you're addicted to like these type of games go for it you know for three bucks but it's just nowhere on the same level um, yeah definitely a six out of ten it didn't blow me away but it was kind of a cool detour until the next game so keep on losing keep on getting